In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. During this beautiful month of May, remember to ask Jesus for the grace to love the Blessed Virgin Mary as He loves her. Today's saint, Saint Antoninus, Archbishop of Florence, was a devout son of the Most Holy Mother of God. Saint Anselm says, quote, As it is impossible for one who is not devout to Mary and consequently not protected by her to be saved, so is it impossible for one who recommends himself to her and consequently is beloved by her to be lost. Close quote. Saint Antoninus confirms this in almost the same words. Quote, as it is impossible for those from whom Mary turns her eyes of mercy to be saved, so also are those towards whom she turns these eyes and for whom she prays necessarily saved and glorified. Close quote. Of all the prelates who through many centuries have ruled the Archdiocese of Florence, no one has gained so great and lasting a hold upon the loving veneration of the Florentines as Saint Antoninus. He was born in Florence, Italy in the year of our Lord, 1389. He was the only son of very pious parents and hence was educated with great solicitude. In baptism he received the name of Antony, but on account of the smallness of his stature he was called Antoninus or Little Antony. In childhood he was so pious that he was called the Little Saint. He never left the house except to go to school or to church. At church he was always found kneeling, generally before the statue of the Blessed Virgin to whom he was deeply devoted and to whom he ascribes the grace he received from God to lead a pure life. At the age of 16, Antoninus joined the religious order of friars, preachers or Dominicans. He at once became an object of admiration by the practice of the highest virtues he declared ceaseless war against idleness. After taking a short sleep at night, he was the first at the office of Matins. Once this prayer ended, he spent the remainder of the night in prayer, or reading or writing. If at times he felt himself oppressed with unwelcome sleep owing to fatigue, he would lean his head for a while against the wall, and then shaking off the drowsiness, he resumed his holy vigils with renewed earnestness. He so excelled in humility that even when he became prior and provincial, he used to carry out the lowest duties of the monastery. He was made Archbishop of Florence by Pope Eugenius IV. His reluctance to accept such a dignity was great indeed, and he would not have consented had it not been out of fear of incurring the spiritual penalties wherewith he was threatened by the Pope. The holy prelate was also celebrated for his great learning. He defended the papacy against the calumnies of certain seditious bishops in the Council of Basel. And at the General Council of Florence, he eloquently asserted the truth of the Catholic faith. On May the 10th, 1459, embracing the crucifix, he joyfully welcomed death. St. Antoninus, pray for us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, Amen.